For exercise 11, please look at your sample book and type in the data that you see in the sample. As you can tell, the data consists of months and numbers. To insert a chart, simply click in cell A4, hold down the left mouse button, drag to E5, and select the months and the numbers. After you've done that, go up to Insert, Chart, and basically a chart wizard appears. There are four steps. The first step is to choose a style for the chart. You can pick from line charts, pie charts, cylinder and cone, but for our chart, we're going to choose column. Okay. Then click Next. And step two, you have to choose the data. But we've already done that. So we don't need to do that again. But we do have to click Series. And next to the name, type in H-O-M-E-R-S, Homers. Okay, we're finished step two. Click Next. Step three, we have to type in a chart title. Chart title will be Home Runs Hit 2000. X axis is going to be months. And the Y axis is number of home runs. Okay. So we have the title, x-axis, and y-axis, and you can tell right here, this shows you a preview of what the chart will look like. Click Next to go to Step 4. Step 4 basically asks you where you would like the chart placed. We will leave it as an object in Sheet 1. Click Finish, and you can see this chart appears. If you want to move the chart, just click on the white, Hold down the left mouse button, move it, and let go. And you can basically move the chart to different locations. You can also put your cursor on one of the handles. Okay, I like to use the bottom right handle. Click, hold the button down, drag, and that will resize the chart. Now that you're finished, uh, you can go to Save. File Save As, and we will save this on our removable disk as SS11, and we're finished.